Hi, I'm Charlotte and I'm in Upper Sick and Head Girl. When you start at Peter's, you'll be assigned a boarding house. We have four boarding houses, two girls' houses and two boys' houses, ranging from third form to upper sixth. You'll be assigned a house and you will stay there for as long as you have left at Peter's. Breakfast is between 7.30 and 8.10. For lunch, you have assigned slots based on your year group and that will be put up at the beginning of term. And for dinner, it starts at 5 and ends at 6. You will also have roll every day. In the morning, you must come down and say hi to your housemaster or housemistress or whoever's on duty. This must be between 7.30 and 8.10. There is also a lunchtime roll where you must come back to house during lunch and see whoever's on duty. We also have a roll at 6.20 and then they will make sure everyone's in their bedrooms at bedtime. Rolls do get a little bit different on a Saturday and also on a Sunday. Every boarding house has a house meeting every evening. For some houses it's at 6.20, for some houses it's at 8. A bell will be rung before house meeting to let you know that it's house meeting. We will do a register and then the daily announcements will be made. You can also ask any questions about the house meeting or anything you have worries about. Meeting often takes place in one of the communal areas. This is the TV room and can hold the most amount of people and is a really great place to socialise in the evenings and watch TV. We also have a set prep time every evening. For every boarding house that is 6.30 till 8. You can't leave the house and you must be in your studies or in your bedrooms if there is a desk in there. You must do your prep or find something else to do during this prep time. It is a great way to have structure to your day and be able to do as much prep as you can. As an hour and a half you can do a lot. If you need help during prep time, it's easy. There's always someone on duty and you can always go and ask them for any problems. There's also a lot of girls in the house who are happy to help with any problems you have with prep. And that's one of the great things about being in a boarding house. Each house has studies or workplaces. For the third, fourth and fifth form, a lot of you are split into studies. These can be up to six people. They can be from different year groups and allow you to get your head down and do some prep in the evening. Each house also has a computer room and this is great for prep time when you want to get some work done. In every boarding house there is a kitchen. This can be used by anyone in the house and there is plenty of food. You can have bread, there is a toaster, cereal, eggs, chicken. It's not enough to have for a meal but it's plenty to fill you up after games or in the evening when you're hungry. The kitchen is also another room which is great to socialise. It's got massive tables in and people can come and visit the house. This kitchen is also great for baking and lots of the girls in Dronfield bake and then share it with the rest of the house. In most houses there will be a fridge assigned to people whose food is theirs. There is also a communal fridge which anything put in there people can help themselves to. In some houses there are more communal spaces. For instance here in Dronfield this is the snug. This is also available for anyone in the house and they can bring visitors here as long as it is before five for day pupils and before their bedtime for boarders. This is also a great place to watch movies and play on the Wii. This is one of the rooms where a lot of people come to play cards and board games in the evenings. We get people from all the other boarding houses come together as a group and it's really great fun. Each room in all four boarding houses do vary in size. There can be rooms of four, three, two and singles. In the third form you are most likely to be in the largest rooms and be with the majority of your year group depending on how many there are. You can be in rooms of three or four. In the fourth form this is also the same in rooms three or four but in fifth form while you're studying for your GCSEs you can have the option to go into a smaller room. These can be doubles and sometimes if they have the space singles. For lower sixth you get to choose who you can be in a room with and you also get to choose which room you go into. These can be a double and sometimes a single, but the majority of the upper sixth do have their own room and this is to enable them to work better and also a privilege when you get to upper sixth. There are multiple shared bathrooms throughout the houses and these can have baths and showers in and can be used any time as long as they're not during your bedtime. Bedtimes do vary as you get older. In the third form you must be in your room at 9.30 with lights turned off at 9.45. For fourth form lights must be turned off at 10. For fifth form lights must be turned off at 10.15 and for the lower sixth lights must be turned off at 10.30. For the upper sixth you don't have to turn your lights off but you do have to be in your room at 10.15. At the weekends most people choose to go into town. You're allowed to go into town after one o'clock and must be back for roll. You can go out for a meal, you can go shopping, go to the cinema, you can do pretty much whatever you like. And it's a great way to get out of the boarding house and go and experience York, which is only a few minutes away. There's a lot of things to do 
after prep time every evening. You can go to the pool, the gym, the sports hall is sometimes open and often there's large football matches or rugby matches on the fields. You can also just stay in house and invite guests over or go to other people's boarding houses. During the holidays within the year, all your stuff can be kept in the room. You have to make sure all surfaces are clean just so the cleaners can get in and do a thorough clean. For the summer, you must empty your room just so that when you come back in September, you, you can easily change rooms. In every house, there is a live-in resident. They are there to help the house mistress or the house master. They are in a house attached to the end of the boarding house and they are there to help whenever you have an emergency or just have a chat. They will also be on duty some nights and will be there to switch your light off when it's your bedtime. There is a matron in each house who will do your laundry for you if you wish. You will have baskets in your room where you can place your dirty laundry and it should come back within at least three days. You will be assigned a pile with your name on where you can collect your clothing whenever it comes back. You must also label all your clothes so it's easier for things not to go missing and also it's easier for the matron to separate your clothes into your own things. We also have washing machines, but I suggest using the matron as much as you can because during your busy school day, you won't have time to be doing your own laundry. If something's broken, she can help you fix it and stitch it. And if you've lost things, she is the best person to go to because she'll know where all the clothes are. If you don't feel well when you're staying in your boarding house, there is many people you can go to. You can go tell your housemaster or housemistress and they can get you the medication you need. Or we have a school SAN, which will be there for you whenever you need it. If you're too unwell to stay in the boarding house, you can go stay in San. You can contact your family whenever you like. You can call them on your phone or you can use the school computers to email them. For third and fourth form, you won't be allowed to keep your phone at night time and you must leave it downstairs in the studies. But for everyone else, you can have it and you are trusted to get a good night's sleep. I was very nervous when I joined in third form, but everyone was so nice to me and Dromfield soon became my second home. I am now really sad that I have to leave after five years. If I were to give you one tip, I'd say throw yourself into everything, get involved with all house events and also make friends across all the boarding houses.